This guy invited me to join this Minecraft SMP. I agreed to join and they got myself situated with fully enchanted items and armor. In this video, I'll be building a villager trading hall to become even more overpowered. Okay, so the plan is to 1. Get materials, 2. Actually build the hall, 3. Transport all the villagers, and 4. Get all the enchantments from the villagers by re-rolling their lecterns. With all the wood gathering being done, all we needed to do is gather a ton of deep slates so that we can build this epic trading hall. Having collected all the deep slate and in turn collected all the materials, it's time to actually start building the trade hall. This is the area I want to build it in. I'm just clearing out the grass and so it's easier. Yeah. Now, usually how I start off my... Um... Whoa, seems like, seems like the, the llamas just, uh, disappeared, yeah. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna chalk up these first couple pillars that I usually do. I'm not really that great at building, but I'll try my best. Finishing all the framework of the trading hall, I now needed to design and build all the walls of the trading hall. From here on out, I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, I'm just gonna let it all play out. getting kind of late uh it's 1 a.m right now so i'm gonna have to log off and continue this tomorrow so yeah uh, see you tomorrow i guess oh yeah i just woke up and 
I think it's time to get back to work. Yo, uh, uh, what's good, fam? What's good, me? With the tushy. After filling in the floor, making the walls, and creating the roof, this build only needed a couple finishing touches to really bring it to life. After finishing the entire trading hall, I had to go kidnap some villagers. I brought my friend Andrew with me to help me out. After Honor and I got the villagers, we just had to transport new villagers to their workstations and reroll lecterns and fetching tables until we got all the trades that we wanted. Now that Honor and I have gotten all the trades that we were looking for, we're gonna zombify and cure all the really important villagers to get their trades as low as possible.
easy. You're gonna get that book by any chance, bro? But I need food, though. Let me just get some food real quick. Then we can start this epic pog game moment battles. Where are you? I need food. Food. Please. EDP 455. Yeah, okay. I'm ready, baby. Let's go, boy! Ah, fake. I'm trying so hard, bro. Just. What is this? 316 question mark. Oh, fuck. Down? We just on test of shielding wicks. It oh it's fine. Bro, not Now that I've maxed out an armor, cured him so that he sells diamond armor for one emerald, maxed out a toolsmith so that we can buy diamond tools, and also cured, cured a mending villager, which he now sells for only one emerald per book. I think I can safely assume that if I were to die, I would easily be able to regain everything that I lost. Thank you so much for watching the video all the way through. This is Peg. Goodbye. <laughs>